So if you know that the Lord has done something different for you, so don't let yourself limit, be limited through your emotion. Let the Spirit of God control your life. And because we listen to our emotion, we tend not to stay joyful. We tend not to to ex to experience the the the, 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 the spiritual. Does someone listen to me? I hope someone is listening to me. Our feelings and our can really uh, betray us, and they can really make make us like think that we have the feeling that we are in the presence of God, but it doesn't mean that we are in the will of God. Because every time that we're entering in the in Lord's presence, we have the ultimate like will of God every time we enter in the Lord's presence. So tell him, Lord, I put aside my feelings. I put, it, I, put it, I put aside how I feel. I put away how I feel. And everything I want, I want your presence. Because in your presence, I have everything that I need. Because in the in Lord's presence, Adam, Adam has everything that Lord has for him. So Lord, come and... So everything that I don't know, even I need, please come and give it to me. And give me what I need. Don't let my emotion betray me. But give me everything that I need today, oh Lord. And don't let my feelings really influence my blessings. Hallelujah. 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 And uh, I'm sharing this. I was sharing this with the sisters. Our flesh, our feeling can make us think that we are on the Lord's way. But we are not really walking on the, on the way of God. And we are not in the will of God. And our emotions sometimes can make us like think that we're walking in the will of God, but we're walking inside. And as we continue, we're still going to be walking inside. So being walking aside is not walking on, your, on the right way. Walking aside is not walking on the straight path. But we don't want to walk aside. We want to walk straight on the, on the way, on the way on, in the presence of God. Because sometimes you think you're in the presence of God, but you're not in the presence of God. And you're going to put your hands together. So be happy to be a part of the Lord children and be part of this uh, worship, be part of his presence. And this is what I'm praying for you. So we are going to bless the Lord as we are entering in the Lord's presence with singings and testimonies because it's through the blood of Jesus and the testimony that we have uh, won the fight against the enemy and that's against the testimony that we beat the devil so we are going to put our hands together to bless his name for our brother uh kevin Cabore that wants to testify of the faithfulness of god Shalom, shalom. We Everything God does is great. So, and I would like to testify about what the Lord has done for me. And really, give him the glory because it's been a, a year I've been in the presence of the Lord and I would like to thank him for that. 
and it really gave me a good uh, health. And my family is still in good health, and I want to praise him. Amen, amen. Yeah, this is some of En tout cas, il y a, il y a, il y a eu seulement pour tout cas. Il y a vu le site à quoi vous dites. Il y a vu l'idée. Donc, il voudrait vous testifier sur la grâce de Dieu qui est vraiment sur les gens de Dieu. Et à travers ce moment, nous voudrions remercier le Seigneur pour tout le monde qui a vraiment célébré le jour de la Donc, nous voudrions célébrer avec eux et leur dire un bon jour de la fête. And we bless the Lord as you've turned one year. Because there is so declare uh, so many good a word for your brothers and sisters of health and of multiplication. Glory to God. And we are going now to go into the word of God. So we are going to get ready to receive the word of God. So we are going to be stay focused, and I know that you are. So you are going to come with me and bless the Lord for his word, and also pray for his servant, our shepherd, uh, Kone Lassin, who is going to give us the the. Is going to feed us today. And we pray that, uh, Father Lord, you bring, uh, that you talk to us through your, your shepherd, that you really, and let us really come together to really pray for him and to ask God to really cover him from his presence, to really cover him from his, uh, f with his in waiting. And then that through him, we can hear, uh, God's words, and really through the word, really touch the heart, and really uh, heal the sick, and really uh, bring peace in our hearts, and come and correct us, come and correct us through your word, hallelujah, hallelujah, oh Jesus, oh Father Lord, we, blessing, we are blessing your name. And we pray for your, ser for your shepherd. So we are giving away all, all, this, all this ministry. And may your hands uh, be upon him. May that your mighty, your power can come through his mouth. And may the spirit of God really use him. So the word that he has to give us today can really change our life. Can really come and break all the chains of our life for the glory for your glory for your glory father and may your hands be on his life on his family his wife his project and everything that he's done or he's doing oh may your hands be on his house and may the spirit of god really dwell in him in the name of jesus hallelujah Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name. We want to receive your, the goodness of God. We want to receive your will. Oh, Lord. 
We like your presence. We love your presence. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. I desire to stay in your presence. Really talk to me. Talk to my heart. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Father, thank you for this moment. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, thank you for everything that you're doing for this ministry. Oh, thank you for choosing me to be the shepherd. Oh, bless me your name, Father. Oh, we would like to say thank you for everything that you have done. And I know that the way that you've used everybody uh, that is uh, that is serving, you are going to do grateful things to the world. And we give the glory to only you, Father. And everything that is not confessing your name, Jesus Christ, could not have access to us. Oh, I pray for every, uh, our way, the way of thinking. And then I, I, I put our, like, thoughts in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God, glory to God. So my brothers and sisters connected. You are welcome to be in the Lord's presence. May the Holy Spirit be in control of your life. So we are going to continue on, the, on what we have done uh, last week. I already did two, two preaching. So every topic I will try to uh, talk about are really important. So last week I think we talked about the Antichrist, how did he come on earth, and how is he going to be appearing. And we uh, read uh, so many books, especially Apo Apoca uh On the, on the 13th verse, we have noticed that the Antichrist And in the chapter 13, we talk also about another uh, character. So we talk about a, pres a, pres I think a president. So we are going to talk about a topic, and a topic that is really important. And as I was preparing the message, he, uh, the message uh, changed my the way the way I pray. And this preaching really changed my the way I am really praying, and the way I am behaving towards my God. So sometimes what we do as a prayer, 
it's without uh, focus. It's like we're like in a room. Oh, at the same time we were like in a stadium. So when you are going to listen to the word of God today, normally after this message, we have to change. We have to change our way to worship the Lord. And we have to take God really, uh, seriously. That means being in front of his, in his presence when we sing and when we are preparing all the brothers and sisters. We are in different places, but are we really connected to him? Are, are all our attention really uh, focused on Christ? Or maybe we are just praying with our tongues. Or maybe we're not focused. And then I really hope that after this message is going to change. Change our way to worship the Lord. And even change our way uh, to be uh, when we are in the presence of the Lord. This presence. When you see the presence of God. Everything in your body is really focused on God when you enter his presence. This message will be... This is not a message that will be for the Antichrist. This week... So this week we are going to talk about You know, the message about the rapture is so long that we cannot even give it, like, uh, in one day. So we're just going to we just talk about the great tribulation, but we're going to talk about, like, one part of it. So... So the book of Revelation is not a book that's supposed to scare us, but it's the book of joy. And then if you've read that, if you've read the book, you will, not, you will notice that the first chapter of Revelation talk about joy. The last chapter talk about being joyful. As the book said, like, happy are those who read the book and listen to the prophecy that was uh, said by the prophets. So no matter what the meaning of the prophecy is, there is always something that was hidden. And then you, when you receive the prophecy, you have to give it to all those that are really still in contact with God. So you don't have to be afraid. He said, and now I'm coming soon. Happy are those who will listen to the prophecy of this book. So the Lord is telling you to keep the promise, to keep the prophecies. So everything that God is going to put in our heart, you have to really keep it in your heart. And to meditate days and nights so we can be in a really a relationship with the, with the Holy Spirit in every moment. 
Like the word of God said. He said, you listen, so you are happy. But you are more happy, happier when you obey to the word of God. It's just to tell you that, my brothers and sisters, the relationship with Jesus Christ Only uh, having a relationship with God can really uh, allow us to avoid tribulation. So many people think they're Christian. Because when we ask them a question, what, what's your religion? They say, oh yeah, I'm Christian. But so many of Christians will be in the tribulation. And as I said, the tribulation, don't be full, but I would like to re-explain what's the tribulation. So the tribulation will go in two phases. And there's a phase when, like, really God will be very angry. And it's not, it's not a moment of peace. It's a difficult moment. As Daniel mentioned, that there is 70 years that has to pass before the prophecy of the Lord happened. So he started praying for the people. He said, we, 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 we have. He didn't say they, 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 they have. So the angels told him, where the word said that Jerusalem will be rebuilt and there is seven weeks in 62 weeks so it was just like, uh, it was just uh, telling the people that the time that are coming are going to be dangerous So, so we are in a time where there's always war everywhere war around us and this and this is the prophecy that Daniel received, Daniel 9, verse 10. It will do They will cease the sacrifice of the offerings. So it will do a covenant. Because the tribulation will start like three years and a half. And then... During this time, what is Daniel doing? The entire Christ is really thinking like how he's going to do to have this covenant. Because there will be so many wars. 
So if he succeed, if he succeed to be in peace with all the countries of the world, he could be able to reign on the earth. But he continued and said, So he said, during the last three years and a half, he's going to show his true face. So you notice the the first half of the of the of the of the week was just to make the covenant so they can do like a like a coalition so all the country can move together now in the second half of the three of the third year yeah during this other half it will start doing so many It will, it will stop the sacrifices and the offerings. That means it will stop worshiping God. That was during the second half that he had to prove to the people around him. At the first half, he, he started acting like he was a good person, as he was, he was worshiping God. But in the second half, he was totally like acting differently and stopped worshiping the Lord. And the last years of the those, the second half of the three years, that's when he's gonna really show his true self. So we would think that that guy was is really smart, and is is a man that really uh, help people. So everybody will think that he's a good person. Everybody would think that he's the man that really can handle the situation. But on the second half of the second weeks, we really need know that who is the entire Christ. As Matthew 24, verse 14, he said he will enter in the temple and he will proclaim himself as God, the Antichrist. And he will ask. That the false prophets. What he's going to do? Everybody will accept. Everybody will accept uh, the entire Christ. Everybody will be on earth. Everybody will support the, the entire Christ. Everybody will be behind him. Some people will really worship his image. But there's a point when he will ask people to really worship him. And that's at that moment that they're really going to realize that he's the entire Christ. During the, the, the tribulation, there will be millions of people on earth. So those, some of them will win, some will lose. 
That's why I said I prefer to be taken away before <laughs> going to the, <laughs> the Great Tribulation. It doesn't mean that uh, because you're a Christian, you'll be uh, taken. You have to make sure that everything that you do is to be with Jesus Christ, and to be in his presence. So we, we need a covenant with God. Because we don't know when the time will be and when it's going to happen. Like I said, the first part of the tribulation will be very calm, but the second part will be very violent. So my brothers and sisters, the anger of God, Do you think that God can really uh, be angry at us and really do things that are not going to make us regret? My answer is yes. We are in the middle of tribulation. When you read the book of Daniel and, and Isaiah, you really uh, tend to understand so many things. So why the why are we done to deserve this uh, this angry? Uh, that God has, is really angry at us. What have we done? So to prepare this preaching, it took me so many time. I would like that every text that I give it to you guys, you guys go and meditate on it. You may think you can condemn such people, but you are just as bad. You have no excuse. When you say they are weak and should be punished, you are condemning yourself for you who judge others do these very same things. And we know that in this justice will punish anyone who does such things. Since you judge others for doing these things, why do you think God can avoid why do you think you can avoid God's judgment when you do the same thing? Don't you see how wonderfully kind, tolerant, and patient God is with you? Does this mean to you? Can't you see that His, ki his kindness is intended to turn you from your sin? But because you are stubborn and refuse to turn your sin, you are storing up a terrible punishment. For a day of anger is coming when God's righteous judgment will be revealed. On, on verse 6, he will judge everyone according to what they have done. And he will give eternal life to those who keep on doing good, seeking after the glory and honor and immortality, immortality of that God offers. But he will pour out his anger and wrath on those who live for themselves 
or will refuse to obey the truth, instead live the life of wickedness. Everything you need to do is to be in faith with God, is to be in good terms with God. It's not me saying that, it's the word of God that says that. But you that, you say you're Christian, and you're going to church, so what is your relationship with God? What is your relationship with God? It's really important. And when we take Romans 1 verse 18, when I, when I finished to prepare this message, myself I started to think about it. He said he will judge to everybody, everybody, everyone, and all the uh, injustice, everything will be judged. Forever since the world was created, people have seen the earth and sky. Through everything God made, they can clearly see His invisible quality, His eternal power, and divine nature. So when you go out in the morning and you look at the mountains, the lights, you are walking yourself. You, you were sleeping and then you woke up. We see God talking about uh, Romans 1 and verse 1. We don't need to go somewhere. He said the trees, everything, who made them grow? So that's why uh, Paul. That's what Paul was saying. We have to believe in God, and because there is a difficult time that that is coming up, and what I'm saying is true, is the word of God, and that's why I give a lot of verse because my prayer is that. I don't want any of us to go through this tribulation. Because over there, because if we apply the sign to really worship the, the Antichrist, is not good. That's why uh, two Thessalonians said, when he comes on that day, he will receive glory from his holy people, praise from all who believe. And this includes you, for you believe what we, we told you about him. So all the message that I given, you have to respect, you have to obey to the word. Because we are during, we are at the last moment now. We talk about uh, refusal to believe that the wrath of God is at the door. The wrath of God, we don't have to reject it. It's a reality. It's true. It's true. 
So that's what the Bible said to not really. Uh, Romans 2, to, to not like strengthen our hearts. So the more you're doing things outside of Lord's presence, it's like you are really uh, condemning yourself. Glory to God. So what I'm saying, the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross doesn't forgive us for not believing in him. Because Because the Lord was very loose, he was letting, he was very patient with his people. But since what has been done on the cross, when he sent his only son, so that whoever believes in him will be saved, he came down to take our sins, to remove all the vows. He came down so that we can get resurrected with him. So we don't have no more excuse to say that I don't believe. Because we still have people who don't believe in God. As Paul says, he said, he doesn't need to show you guys. Just look at it on you. Look at the words. Everything that, has, that, that he has created. So my brothers and sisters, it's really important what we are talking about. I'm not trying to afraid anyone, but I'm trying to explain what we should be doing. And as it's so important that I couldn't shut up. When you take, for example, Romans 3, verse 27, as it said, uh, verse 24, for God presented Jesus as the sacrifice for sin. People are made right with God when they believe that Jesus sacrificed his life, shedding his blood. This sacrifice showed that God was being fair when he held back and did not punish those who sinned in time past. For he was looking ahead, including them in what he will do in his present time. God did this to demonstrate his righteousness. And as he said, my son really suffer for you guys on the cross. On the earth today. If you do bad things, you can always repent on the earth. Repentance is always there. But when the great tribulation will come, there will be no repentance. When it will start, like when we will be like really in full in the tribulation, And have you not noticed that when we like do things outside of the presence of the Lord and then those habits and we think that we can com continue to fail, we, we think that we still have time. That's why I say stay in the presence of the Lord. 
it's really important that I really swear to you guys to really stay in the, the presence of God. Because it will come in that day to glorify His holy, to glorify, to glorify the people that really love them. But those that didn't really obey His word will perish. So, as we said like earlier, if you're not really uh, in the Word of God, if you're not really uh, reading the Word of God, you're not going to be able to understand the, the Word of God. That's why I said you always have to take note. Because a stubborn student will never take note when he goes when he goes to class. So like I said, on earth we still have time for repentance, but when the time will come, it will it will either be heaven or hell. Like the word of God said, like one or two people are gathered, my spirit is, is with them. And what is really important for me is the quality of people and then the joy that is in there. And, and I'm telling you to really have this covenant with God and tell him, God, I thought that I was praying you, but I don't pray enough. I just pray you quicker, like, it's just quick so that I can leave. Myself, I did that. But like, as you started really get to know the Lord, you have to get out of this zone. Everything that's in you should be focused. As Deborah said, we are in front of His holy presence. And then we should have our all body and spirit focused on Christ. Imagine like Moses when he, he entered in the presence of the Lord. Look how many times did he take him. How was he able to do that? Because he was focused. And it's so important to take time in the presence of the Lord. And I'm just telling you because I've seen so many cases. So, Just, just look out around you how the flesh is taking over everything. How the world is worshipping the flesh. The flesh. Just to tell you that the world is not stable. So that day will come like a thief. And they will be surprised about that day. It's important. 
Because when I'm going to read, when I'm going to read the the word about what is going to happen, about the wrath of God. So right now I'm just boosting you. I'm just encouraging you. Until now, if I give you uh, all the information now, you're going to leave here afraid. But I don't want you to be afraid. I'm just telling you what you need to do and what you, do, you don't need to do. Because it's a message that's really in my heart. It's been a year that I'm preparing eschatology. It's not easy. Yes. So I will start to explain the verse before I read. So we're going to read Romans 5:20. So when you obey Christ, you live according to the word of God. The Bible is always with you. You are always with the word of God. And you are happy when you are in a prayer room. But how many Christians how many Christians are together even when they're not together are we really like sharing the word of God between us it was the secret of the first church they were sharing the word of God together and they were praying together in all time When I take the first church and the church now, it's, it's day and night. So we are going to go now on the message that God has prepared for us. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. So I thought I was disconnected. Can you hear me? Glory to God. So we are going to continue. So I still have a little uh, part, a small part to, to get done before we uh, ent enter. So we're going to take uh, the book of Revelation. Chapter 1, verse 1. Oh, Revelation 15, verse 1. Then I saw in heaven another marvelous event of great significance. Seven angels were holding the seven last plagues which would bring God's wrath to completion. It's not me saying that. It's the wrath of God. So 
So now the verse 7 of this, the same chapter. Then one of the four living beings handed each. So who are the four living beings? It's those that are described in uh, 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 Revelation 4, verse 6. Handed each of the seven angels of God, both filled with the wrath of God, who lives forever and ever. Because people say that it's scary, but it's not. It's a warning. And whether you're scared or you're not scared, it's a warning. You have to know the truth and then apply the truth in your life. So we're going to Revelation 16, verse 2. On the earth, if you've done things that doesn't confess God, you can always repent. So now we are during a time where so many people that are living took uh, the mark of the beast. So as the message that I gave about the cry of midnight, So that, so that was during the time that so many people were persecuted. Then the second angel poured out his bowl on the sea. It became like the blood of a corpse. And everything in the sea died. And anything in the sea died. So the first angel left the temple and poured out his boat on the earth. And the horrible malignant soul broke out on everyone who had the mark of the beast and who worshipped his, his statue. So this is the, ra the wrath of God. And then he, he poured out his bowl of on the earth. Because of all those people that had the mark of the beast. If you don't have the mark of the beast, you'll be saved. But if you have it, you will not be saved. So the, the third verse. Then the second angel poured out his bowl on the sea. And it became like the blood of a cup. Then the third angel poured out his bowl on the river and spring, and then they became blood. So who was pouring? It was the angels that was that were pouring. And they were pouring the wrath of God on the earth.
So those that have been taken away are already uh, enjoying with Jesus on heaven. It's, a, it's with my heart that I'm talking. I want that everyone be saved. So you've noticed something, man is very difficult to manage. Despite the fact that the wrath of God is really pouring out on the earth, Yeah, so, so during the tribulation, the tribulation repentance is possible if you not if you don't have the mark of the beast. So if Jesus doesn't want anything else anything else than repentance. He wants you to win over tribulation. Despite, despite this, people couldn't even get repented. They couldn't repent. So let's go in uh, Revelation 8. I look up and saw a horse whose color was pale green. So it's really difficult to understand and accept that during this time, people would not even repent. And the fifth angel pour out So we can ask this question like why is this judgment is coming to uh, earth right now? But we're going to see it in So we're going to see it is Revelation 16 verse 5. So we still have two Sundays to cover. So what we're going to move forward, I will explain what is going to happen after. But right now we're going to focus on Revelation 16 verse 5. So we're going to read why the judgment of God is coming on earth when we take Revelation 16 verse 5. And I heard the angel who had authority o- over all water saying, and I heard the angel who had authority over all water saying, you are just 
Oh, Holy One, who is and who always was, because you have sent this judgment. So he was approved by all the celestial. Uh, And I heard the voice from the Parce que tu as exercé ce jugement au verset 6. Car écoutez très bien pourquoi il a eu ce jugement là. Pourquoi il a eu ce jugement? So the why the question to the why why we have this judgment because since they shed the blood of your holy people and your prophets. That means they kill they killed some servant of God. They've murdered some servant of God. And you have given them blood to drink. It is their just reward. When tribulation started, what did we do when the tribulation started? You are just you, the the Holy One who is and always was, because you have sent this judgment since they shed the blood of your holy people and your prophets. And then I hear, yes, O Lord, the Almighty, your judgment are true and just. Your judgments are true and just. My brother and sister, we are in the final time. We are in the last time. And it will come. Don't try to say things in your heart. I'm not lying to you. That's why I give you all the biblical verse. And I'm still doing my research. And then you're going to notice that the, the, the Jews, the Jews that don't believe in Jesus Christ, you know they don't believe in Jesus Christ. These people, they are going to suffer on earth. When you take Isaiah, Isaiah uh, 14, All the nation of the world, all the nation will go attack Israel because God wanted it. So we see in Zechariah, we see in Zechariah 14, verse 1 to watch for the day of the Lord is coming. When your possession will be plundered right in front of you, I will gather all the nations to fight against Jerusalem. The city will be taken, the house looted, the women raped. Half of the population will be taken into captivity, and the rest will be left among the ruin of the city. So, right now, they are always uh, protecting um, Israel, USA, and Europe. So sometimes when Israel, they have problems, even when they, they're wrong, they always have protection with the American people. But this day, they won't have any any fans, no more, like no one will be able to support them. I'm not talking about the Jews that believe in Jesus Christ. I'm talking those Jews that don't believe in Jesus Christ. Those that are still waiting for the Christ. 
So that's why when they will see the Antichrist, they will worship him at the beginning. Until he starts switching his face, switching the way he behaves, that's when they will understand. So those nations will come to exterminate uh, Jerusalem. So now the nation that was, that, uh, was attacking Israel will be, uh, will be in a fight with the Lord too. As long as we live in a righteous life, we will be saved. And then when I take Zechariah, Zechariah verse 3, he said, then the Lord will go out to fight those nations as he has fought in time past. So you remember when Jesus Christ has done his triumphal entrance at Jerusalem, everybody was crying, shouting. All the people were together. So those nations will be fought also. The book of Zechariah is a small book. Please. I asked all, those, all the person that want to do research on eschatology. There's two books. There's Revelation of Zechariah. So it's hard to understand Apocalypse without the prophets. So if you read Zechariah and you understand, you will start reading all the all those book of uh, of the prophets. Two thirds of the Jews will be exterminated. There will be only one third left. He said, as long as you don't cry upon my name, I will not listen to you. Now listen what's going to happen. He said there will be two thirds of Jews that will be killed, and there will only be one third left. He said, I will put this one third left in fire and I will purify them as we purify uh, silver. 
fonctionner. Je dirais c'est mon pépé et qui là. L'éternel est mon Dieu. L'éternel est mon Dieu. Ah, si j'avais dit ça il y a 2021 ans, lorsque Jésus-Christ est rentré aïe, 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 dans le temple et que le, le, le peuple criait Hosanna, celui qui dit au nom de l'éternel fils du jour là. Oh, ils avaient dit l'éternel est mon Dieu. Au contraire, ils ont dit que c'était un imposteur. Au contraire, ils ont dit que c'était un imposteur malheureusement. Malheureusement, ils ont dit que c'était un imposteur. Mais par la grâce de Dieu, on va voir ça la semaine prochaine. Par la grâce de Dieu, on va voir. Je vais finir avec un verset là et puis on va, je vais expliquer ce qui va se passer la semaine prochaine. I would like to finish with one verse and I will explain uh, for next time. Parce qu'on va parler de stratégie là, mais je reviens en deux, trois, c'est un peu beaucoup bien. Tu vas trouver pas ce que je vais donner tous les détails et les versets de Dieu. Mon frère, ma soeur. My brother and sister, there will be a victorious uh, uh, tribulation. Those Christians that will be victorious will be teach. As we know, this God is really uh, merciful. Even though, like, we didn't even listen to Him, He's always He will always find ways to to protect us because He's merciful. During that time, there will be so many people that will lose their life. Because look at every, everywhere in the world. Cameroon, France, Italy. There's more non-believer than believer in those countries. But there's so many people that go to church. So they will still have Bible on the earth. So let's talk about uh, those premises, uh, those 144,000 people that never went with any woman. So when you go and after a w- another man and wife, So during tribulation, they will be victorious. There will be people that will really go through this easily.
Do you guys remember the last time what he has got with the angels? When they had, they had like three angels, they, they came and then So the victorious of the tribulation are those who didn't uh, worship the mark of the beast. How many people that are really call themselves Christian? Listen. So when you are doing, in f when you are in a in all those um, formas and re, uh, everything that doesn't confess his name, you are already worshipping the mark of the beast. Because at the end, Satan will be hard, hidden. And then you're gonna you're gonna follow him there if you don't live according to the word of God. If you keep worshiping the mark of the beast, that's where you're gonna end up. Revelation 15, verse 2 and 4. I saw before me what seemed to be a glass of sea mixed with fire. And on it is still all the people who had been victorious over the beast and the statue and the number of and the, and the number representing his name. They were all holding harps that God had given them. So the victorious was was stood up. The victorious. They have the, the victorious was stood on the sea with holding harps that God had given them. They were stood on a glass sea mixed with fire. Only those who were was victorious over the beast. There will be all the harps given by God. And they were singing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb. Great and marvelous are your works. O oh Lord, the Almighty, just and true are your ways. O oh King of nations, we will not fear you and glorify your name. For you alone are holy, and all nations will come and worship before you. For your righteous deeds have been revealed. Uh, brothers and sisters, to end, I would like to so we should always all be taken away. I would like that what I will tell you now will stay in your heart forever.
And what I will tell you, may this become like law, and then you remember this every day of your life. Because if, if you know someone that has been taken away and you have not been taken away, yes, you can be saved if you can resist the tribulation. As, as, as Revelation 15 said, those people that really they were victorious they worship the Lord because don't be discouraged because during that time so many people will be discouraged they want you to really swear to him to a beast they want you to worship his image if you're not taken away and you are in doing great tribulation don't do it don't worship his, his image so it's better to be killed and go into heaven that accept to worship the devil and go to hell. It is kind, you know. So repentance is the only way to go to Christ. My brother and sister, I hope you've taken some notes. I hope that you will still continue to serve the Lord, that you will not be discouraged. Those who were praying, but your prayer was not really in spirit, just change. And may God always be with you. 
Because I want that everybody be saved. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this message. Thank you because I know you are here. Thank you because I know that you will never forsake us. So yeah, may only you be glorified to that of your children. Thank you for all your good beings. Oh, Father, Lord, we pray that you always be with us. And may only you be at the, at the, at the appointment. And we, we, we can win over. We can win over. So, like you said, we are not destined, destined to your, the wrap of God. So allow us to be really every time in good time with you so that we can be, we can be taken away or we can resist during the great tribulation. So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to testify of the Lord. Don't be afraid to be a children of God. Because we know when you look around you, when you look at the world, you see how the world is really sexualized. You see how the world is all about the flesh. That's why we want to be, we're going to do everything we can do to stay in Lord's presence. We want to do everything we can do to worship him. We want to be everything we can to glorify his name. So don't, be, don't let yourself be taken away of the presence of the Lord. And I pray that Jesus is the solution for every of like for each of us, Jesus is the solution. And I glorify you now. I celebrate your name because you are God. So don't be afraid we are in a victory. We are victorious. Don't be afraid. In all those past week, if you have a testimony regarding the word of God and you would like to share, be free to share.
ton même sœur. Je suis à toi. qui suscite la colère de Dieu. Alléluia. Nous allons prier pour que le Seigneur puisse enlever l'incrédulité du cœur de ses enfants, l'endurcissement du cœur de ses enfants, que ses enfants puissent croire en la vérité qu'est Jésus, afin que personne, afin que nous, ses enfants, nous ne puissions pas connaître la colère de notre Seigneur Dieu. Nous ne connaissions pas sa colère. Élevons la voix et prions, disons-lui, Seigneur, remplis-nous, Seigneur, de toi. Nous ne voulons pas être incrédules. Nous ne voulons pas être endurcis. Nous ne voulons pas être dans ta maison et vivre dans l'incrédulité. Nous ne voulons pas être dans ta maison et vivre dans l'endurcissement, Seigneur. Mais nous te prions, Seigneur, saisis-toi de nous. Saisis-toi de nos cœurs. Saisis-toi de tout ce qui est en nous, Seigneur. Nous t'appartenons, Jésus. Nous t'appartenons, Seigneur. Nous t'appartenons, Yahweh Dieu. Oui, Seigneur, nous nous levons contre tout esprit d'endurcissement. Nous nous levons, Seigneur, contre tout esprit d'incrédulité. 
qui se dresse dans le cœur de tes enfants. Seigneur, mon Dieu, qui se camoufle dans le cœur de tes enfants, qui empêche tes enfants, Seigneur, de croire en ta parole, de croire en tes promesses. Oh, Seigneur, mon Dieu, les difficultés, les moments difficiles, Seigneur, mon Dieu, les obstacles de la vie qui emmènent tes enfants à être durcis, qui emmènent tes enfants à ne plus croire en tes promesses. Seigneur, nous nous levons contre toutes ces forteresses qui se lèvent dans la vie de tes enfants, toutes ces forteresses, Seigneur, qui se dressent dans la vie de tes enfants, qui perd avec ta parole. Seigneur, nous venons avec ta parole, nous venons avec ta parole qui est vérité. Oui, Seigneur, nous croyons ta vérité, nous croyons tes promesses, nous croyons ta parole, qui est esprit et vif, nous croyons la parole, qui est Jésus lui-même. Dis-lui, 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 mon frère, ma soeur. Dis-lui, Seigneur, je crois en tes promesses. Seigneur, je crois en ta parole. Seigneur, je crois en ta parole qui est Jésus lui-même. Oui, Seigneur, je t'appartiens et je crois en tes promesses, Jésus. À ceux-là même qui t'appartiennent, le Seigneur, tu nous as donné la grâce, Seigneur, mon Dieu, la foi de recevoir ton esprit. Le Seigneur, l'Esprit de Dieu, qui nous donne la force de comprendre la parole de Dieu. L'Esprit de Dieu, qui nous amène à comprendre la parole du Seigneur. L'Esprit de Dieu, qui vient fortifier nos cœurs, qui vient nous donner d'avoir la foi, car la foi vient de ce qu'on en sent, mon frère, la soeur. La foi vient de ce que tu entends. Et ce que tu entends vient de la parole de Dieu. C'est pour cela que mon frère, la soeur. Comment le Seigneur t'a permis ta foi, t'a permis ta foi, t'a permis ta foi. Si le Seigneur, je crois en ta parole. Si le Seigneur, je crois en ta vérité. Si le Seigneur, je crois en ce que tu as promis. Et je ne resterai pas en Dieu si, je ne resterai pas en Dieu si, ou en Jésus le Seigneur. Oui, moi je crois, je crois en tes promesses, je crois en ton plan, je crois en tes projets, je crois en ta vérité, Seigneur Jésus. Ce que tu as promis, Seigneur, tu le feras, car tu es ta parole, Jésus. Oui, mon frère, ma soeur, tu lui, Seigneur, prends mon cœur. Seigneur, mon Dieu, prends mon cœur, car tu as dit dans ta parole. Garde ton cœur plus que toute autre chose, car de lui viennent les sources de la vie. Oui, Seigneur, tu as dit que de mon cœur viennent les sources de la vie. Et à cause des tribulations, à cause des difficultés, à cause des problèmes, Seigneur mon Dieu, à cause du dessèchement, oui, Seigneur, à cause, Seigneur, du désert, mon cœur s'est rendu ici. Mon cœur s'est rendu ici. Mais Seigneur, voici mon cœur aujourd'hui. Seigneur, prends mon cœur. Et ramollis mon cœur, Seigneur. Oui, Jésus, prends mon cœur. Et ramollis mon cœur, Yahweh. Ramollis mon cœur, Seigneur, mon Dieu. Afin que je ne puisse pas rejeter ta parole qui m'est donnée. À cause des difficultés. À cause des tribulations. À cause des tourments que tes enfants ont vécu. Nombreux sont ceux-là même, Seigneur. Qui rejettent la vérité. Qui rejette la parole. Tu vas m'en réconcilier. Seigneur mon Dieu, nous ne croyons plus. Nous ne croyons pas. Nous ne savons plus comment espérer. Seigneur Dieu, nous choisissons de t'adorer, Seigneur. Nous choisissons de croire en toi. Nous choisissons d'espérer. Nous choisissons d'espérer. Nous choisissons d'espérer. Oui, car ta parole nous donne de l'espoir. Alléluia. Oui Seigneur, je suis là, c'est la vie de quelqu'un Que tu redonnes de l'espoir, papa À celui-là même qui n'a plus d'espoir Celui-là même qui est découragé Celui-là même qui n'espère plus Oui Seigneur, ta parole vient Redonner de l'espoir Redonner de la paix Redonner cette assurance Redonner cette joie de vivre Oui Seigneur, je suis là, c'est la vie de quelqu'un 
Dis lui Seigneur dans la difficulté, je veux adorer Jéhovah. Dis lui Seigneur dans la difficulté, dans la tribulation, je veux toujours adorer mon Seigneur, mon Créateur. Dis lui dans la difficulté, je refuse Seigneur de me soumettre à tout ce qui est contraire. Dis lui dans la difficulté, je choisis d'adorer mon Dieu. Dis lui dans la difficulté, dans la tribulation. Seigneur, je choisis de t'adorer. Je choisis de t'adorer. Je choisis de t'adorer. Je choisis de t'élever. Je choisis de t'élever. Je choisis de te magnifier. Je choisis de t'exalter. Je choisis de pousser. Oh, élever ton nom. Je choisis de t'élever. Dans les tribulations, dans les difficultés, dans les tourments. Je choisis, Seigneur. Je choisis, Seigneur. Je choisis de t'adorer toi et toi seul, alléluia. Je refuse, Seigneur, d'adorer mes problèmes. Je refuse de contempler mes problèmes. Je refuse de les contempler. Je refuse de les contempler. Je refuse d'élever mes problèmes au-dessus de mon Dieu. Je refuse d'élever mes problèmes au-dessus de mon Dieu, alléluia. Refuse d'élever tes problèmes au-dessus de ton Dieu. Mais élève ce Dieu-là, élève le Dieu vivant, élève le Dieu puissant, élève le Dieu trois fois saint, élève le Dieu vivant, celui-là même qui vit, qui est, qui était et qui vient, qui vit et règne à jamais. Élève ce Dieu-là, au-dessus de tous tes besoins, élève ce Dieu-là, au-dessus de tous tes soucis, élève ce Dieu-là, au-dessus de toutes les montagnes qui se dressent devant toi, Alléluia.
Demande que le Seigneur te marque de sa présence. Alléluia. Merci Seigneur. Béni sois-tu. Comme je l'ai partagé plus tôt, la présence du Seigneur. Merci Père, merci Roi, merci Seigneur. Du Seigneur est une couverture. La présence du Seigneur est une marque de ton identité. Oh Père de grâce, béni sois-tu. Père de grâce, béni sois-tu, Seigneur. La présence du Seigneur détermine ton identité, mon frère, ma soeur. La présence du Seigneur, Seigneur. t'identifie au milieu de Alléluia. En ce soir, le Seigneur vient te couvrir de sa présence. Mmh. Marqué, Alléluia. Il vient marquer ton âme. Il vient marquer ton esprit. Il te... Gloire à Jésus. Il te couvre de sa présence. En ce soir, vois-toi vêtu. Vois la présence du Seigneur qui te vêtit. Qui t'habille et qui te démarque, qui te distingue dans ce monde. Qui te distingue au milieu de ceux-là même qui ont régné la foi. Ceux-là même qui refusent de croire et d'accepter. Et à cause du péché, ils sont condamnés. Le Seigneur Jésus a dit, je viens, non pas pour condamner le monde, mais pour celui-là même. Qui est marqué par le péché est déjà condamné, mon frère ma soeur. Aujourd'hui, vois le Vois la présence de Dieu te recouvrir, mon frère, ma soeur. Mm -hmm. Cette présence est réelle. Cette présence dans laquelle Adam mm -hmm. se trouvait. Cette présence que le Seigneur Jésus est venu restaurer. Cette présence dans laquelle le Seigneur Jésus demeure éternellement. Cette présence avec laquelle le Saint-Esprit est venu habiter en nous pour nous recouvrir de la présence Amen. de Dieu. Afin que nous puissions en permanence demeurer. Dans la présence de notre Seigneur, partout nous allons. Vois-toi vêtu. Vois-toi habillé. Vois-toi vêtu, mon frère, ma soeur. De ce vêtement de gloire. Dis-lui, je suis à toi. Déclare, Seigneur, je t'appartiens parce que tu m'as couvert de ton vêtement. Dis-lui, Seigneur, je t'appartiens. Dis-lui, Seigneur, je suis à toi. Alléluia. Parce que tu m'as recouvert, tu m'as habillé, tu m'as appelé. Tu as fait de moi choisi de Dieu tu as fait de moi un appelé de Dieu je le déclare je suis à toi Seigneur oh je suis à toi je suis je suis déclare le encore je suis à toi Seigneur je suis je suis à toi je t'appartiens Seigneur je suis, je t'appartiens, ma vie, mon âme est à toi, Seigneur. Je suis à toi, je suis à toi. Ma 
vite à toi, mes enfants, mon foyer à toi, Jésus. Mon ministère est à toi, Seigneur. Je vis, je suis, je le dis, je le déclare, je suis. Je suis à toi, je t'appartiens. Je suis à toi. Je suis à celui qui m'a appelé, je suis à toi. Celui qui m'a habillé, je suis à toi. Puis je suis, puis je suis à celui qui m'a acheté, je suis à toi. Oh, je suis, puis je suis à celui qui m'a acheté, je suis à toi. Je le déclare, je le confesse à celui qui m'a pardonné, je suis à toi. Oh, oui, je suis. Je suis à toi, à celui qui m'a lavé, je suis à toi, je suis à toi, je suis à toi, à celui qui m'a restauré, je suis à toi, je suis à toi, je t'appartiens, à celui qui m'a acheté, je suis à toi, je t'appartiens, je t'appartiens, à celui qui m'a délivré, je suis à toi, je suis à toi. Merci mon Dieu, merci mon roi. Oh, ta puissance et gloire à ton nom. Béni sois-tu, oh Père. Sois élevé, sois magnifié, Yahweh. Oh, nous t'appartenons, nous le déclarons. Oui, nous sommes à que nous t'appartenons, Seigneur. Gloire à ton Seigneur, Père Céleste. Oh, nous t'appartenons à jamais. Oui, ta marque est sur nos vies, ta présence nous recouvre. Jésus, Jésus, oh, je vis pour t'adorer. Oui, je suis, je suis à toi. Merci Seigneur. Oh, je vis pour ta gloire. Alléluia. Alléluia, Seigneur. Alléluia, Jésus. Alléluia, ton nom, Seigneur. Alléluia, ton nom, Seigneur. Sois élevé. Sois exalté, 
Seigneur, béni soit ton nom, Seigneur. Mon Dieu, merci, mon tu vas clamer le Seigneur, ton Dieu. Béni tu vas clamer son Seigneur. Tu vas pousser les cris de joie. Tu vas pousser les cris de joie, mon frère, ma soeur. Élever son nom. Confesser qu'il est Dieu. Alléluia, lion de la tribu de Juda. Toi, le rejeton de David. Toi, le commencement et la fin. Toi, mon pourvoyeur, mon guérisseur. Oui, Jésus, je lève ton nom. Aujourd'hui et pour toujours. Alléluia. Alléluia. Thank you, Jesus. Alléluia. My brother and sister, are you blessed? My brother and sister, are you blessed? How are you blessed? Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord for his words and for his shepherd. Remember of him, his family, and everything that he is doing. Don't forget your servant. And may your hands always be on his house. And may his house serve you forever. Hallelujah. Amen, 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 amen. Glory to God. May the Lord bless you, Papa Kone, for this word of life, this mighty word. A word that just come to strengthen you and then to show you that we belong to God. We belong to God. And we belong to a God that is reigning in heaven. And he said, I'm going to the Father to prepare your place, but I will come back and get you when the time will come. And this word really reminds us that and really fortify us that this moment of life on earth will not be over. There is a better life. All those difficulties that we're going will not endure, endure forever. There will be an end. And like he said, there will be no tears, no sufferings. Because when the presence of the Lord comes, there's only life and love of God that really fills you up and fill the atmosphere. So receive this word and meditate on those words that we receive today and may your soul be fortified. Glory to God. We are blessing the name. So we know that when we enter the presence of the Lord, we always bring our um, act of grace, our, our, our blessings, our offerings to bless the word that we see and to bless God for everything that he has done in our life. He is the one, he is the one that really takes care of of us and he's the one leading us on the way every day we come into his presence to thank him so bring everything that you have for him and put your hands on your offerings on your tight and just pray over it and together we are going to bless the tight Oh, Father, Lord, you are the Father of peace. Oh, you give us to not be worried of tomorrow. But you call us, and you call us to really seek the kingdom of God first. So, Father, Lord, we're looking for your kingdom that you've manifested today. Because you really uh, think about us. And, and you answer whenever we pray. So that's why we are in your presence to thank you. 
and to really acknowledge your presence, to really as a sign of acknowledgement towards you. Thank you, Father Lord, because you take care of us. Receive the sign of our gratitude and may this may your glory take part of these tithes and offerings be blessed in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus amen glory to God so brother and sister you're gonna do your offerings uh, according to the different uh, means, like you know, we're using Venmo, Cash App, or uh, Zelle, or uh, you can do it physically if you are in the in the house. And, and thank you for your offerings, and to those who will just continue to help the ministry we would like to thank to thank you and like he said just put me on just prove prove me and then see if i cannot really bless and open the gate of heaven for you guys in the name of jesus we pray and we thank him Let's 
We bless the Lord for the show. So we're going to move forward with the information for tonight with our sister, Miriam Ete. So we are going to put our hands together for the Lord. So welcome to those that are coming to first time in our and if you are here for the first time, welcome. So we are the community Moncramen and USA section. Shalom, my brother. Shalom, my sister. Just feel like home. And just remind you guys that we have a usual prayer from 3 to 6. So this time, this uh, time frame I've been shared in the WhatsApp group, and we have Instagram, Facebook, and Facebook, our Facebook page is at Moncarmel USA. So we have so many ways to stay connected throughout the week so that you cannot miss any event that we have going on. So if you are on Facebook or you as on Zoom, you want to look the link in the bio, in the bio and check uh, for the link so you can find all the information that you need. So you can have all our videos, our uh, worship and present moment live on the page. So 
So we we are working on some TV shows coming up on the website. If you've been blessed by this teaching of this day, just clap your hands for the Lord. As the word said, like my people perish because of the lack of knowledge. So let's all try to avoid the wrath of God. Amen. And then if you really um thirsty for the Lord, we have all those groups during the week to really uh uh satisfy your your your, your thirstiness uh of the word of God. We have our uh, prayer of ministry of movement ministry on Monday. There's from six to eight on Zoom. And we also have uh, the grace ministry, which is uh, for the singles. And it really prepares us for marriage according to the word of God. So we already share our, our word last time and we share how to be patient and how to wait for the, for the moment, like for your time to get married. How to wait perfectly in God's presence. So we also have the Young Adults Ministry on Friday. So if you are young and then you looking to live, you need to live a life of sanctification in this world that is surrounding us. So the fraternity Joseph is there to really help you to live and last week, we really learned about our value in Jesus Christ. Because when you know your value, it changed everything in your walk. And then we are going to gather next Friday, August 20th, from 6.30 to 8.30. And then we are going to share the words to the, on the theme that was shared uh, last week. So the next information that we would like to share is what has been announced since it's the birthday of our shepherd, Momo Anastasi. Amen. Amen. And then what we're about to do, you guys now are ready, and it will be very glorious. And then you still have two weeks to get ready and to celebrate the name of the Lord with your brothers and sisters. And it's a really a uh, free um, action if you would like to plant your seeds. You can always plant a seed, and uh, you will be uh, recompensed by the Lord Himself. going to be on Saturday, August 28th. So, yeah, birthday is the August 24th, but the celebration will be August 28th. Amen. So, we would like to announce this time of 21 days so that you can get ready for the 21 days of fasting. So it's a time of spiritual warfare. So you don't have to enter a spiritual welfare like like you entering your uh, like a shop or something. You should get prepared and get ready to receive and get ready to fight in prayers. Amen. 
for the first week will be about teachings and adoration. And the two other weeks, what is, is, it will be for our family and for So the ball program is going to be throughout the September 1st to s September 20th. And there's on each Friday we'll have like a night prayer. And we will always have our service on Sundays from 3 to 6.30, but we'll just have our pray, prayer night on Fridays from 9 till the morning. So all the inform uh, information are on Facebook. So if you are in Africa and would like to follow the, p the program, you can check our Facebook page and find the all the information about uh, this program, this uh, spiritual welfare on the Facebook page. Stay blessed. Dans le nom de Jésus. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Père de grâce, qui t'en aura des armées, Seigneur, nous te disons merci parce que c'est toi qui as permis, Seigneur, le bon déroulement de ce temps. Seigneur, nous avons commencé avec toi, avec ton esprit, l'esprit de feu qui vit en nous. Seigneur, nous sortons encore avec ce même esprit qui reste toujours en nous, ô oh Père. Seigneur, oui, c'est ce message, Seigneur, que toi même tu nous as donné ce soir, puisse rester gravé, Seigneur, dans notre cœur. Et que nous puissions, Seigneur, méditer, Seigneur, sur toutes les paroles qui ont été dites. Méditer, Seigneur, sur tout ce que nous avons compris, ô oh Père. Méditer, Seigneur, sur tous les versets bibliques, Seigneur, qui ont été donnés. Afin que, Seigneur, les enfants, Seigneur, Père, puissent être toujours avec toi dans tous les domaines de leur vie, Seigneur. Et que toi seul sois leur Christ. Béni sois-tu. Pour, oh, Père de grâce, Seigneur, pour toutes ces personnes qui se sont connectées de partout, Seigneur, que toi seul, Seigneur, puisses les élever, Seigneur, comme tu le veux. Béni sois-tu, Seigneur. Seigneur, je m'en demande de toi, Père. Oh, Seigneur, tous ces enfants, Seigneur, qui, qui ont commencé l'école. Mais avant l'école, Seigneur, ce soir, ils vont laisser coucher, Seigneur. Père, prends soin, Seigneur, de nos enfants, oh, roi des rois, dans leurs soins, dans les rêves, dans toute activité spirituelle, Seigneur, et que tu sois avec avec eux, Seigneur, plongé dans le sang de Jésus Christ de Nazareth, Seigneur, afin que demain, Seigneur, quand ils vont se réveiller pour prendre la route de l'école, ô oh, Père de grâce, tu puisses les accompagner, Seigneur, parce que l'Esprit qui, qui les a protégés au cours de la nuit précédente, Seigneur, l'Esprit là sera avec eux, qui est le Saint-Esprit, Seigneur, les accompagneront, Seigneur, ô oh, Père de grâce, Seigneur, dans, dans leur école, et personne ne pourra avoir accès à ces enfants. Seigneur, maintenant, je nous mets en tes mains. Nous, Seigneur, qui travaillons demain. Nous, Seigneur, qui allons vacances nos occupations demain. Oh, Père, conduis-nous, nous aussi, au roi des rois, avec ta grâce, Seigneur, avec ton esprit, Seigneur, et que personne ne puisse avoir accès à nous. Merci pour tous tes bienfaits et que la gloire te revienne, toi, seul, Seigneur Jésus, au nom de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ. Amen. 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 Shalom, shalom à vous. Que le Seigneur vous bénisse. Et on se dit shalom, à shalom. dimanche prochain. Que la gloire du Seigneur soit avec vous. Shalom, ma fille, Chris, Chris. Comment ça va, Chris? Shalom, papa. Comment ça va? Alléluia. Il y a qui encore? Marion était Christelle Coffee, il en a déjà. Donc, 
tous ceux qui sont là, je les ai vus. Kevin Kabouré, Marion Ete, et vraiment ce que j'ai oublié, Shalom aussi. Que Dieu vous bénisse dans tout Amen. ce que vous faites et que l'Esprit de Dieu soit avec vous. Amen. Amen. Where you lead, I'll go. 